composite girder module. It is made in such a way that it acts as a powerful yet easy to use tool for the engineers who are looking for designing steel composite, concrete and pre-stressed bridges. If we talk about the features that are present in the composite module, so here you can see some of the key features. Like we can obviously model the complex geometry with the help of composite module and we can also perform the design checks for different codes. Another important aspect for engineers in today's days is about the load rating. Hence, that is also accommodated with this module. So before any further ado, let's jump into the solution provided by composite girder module into the software and understand how it makes the work easy and efficient for modeling and design. Now to model the structure, we are having the option for wizard. Here you can see the steel composite bridge and pre-stress bridge wizard. So I'll open a steel composite bridge wizard and it is a feature provided the flexibility to define the geometry load construction sequencing in a single go. So we just need to give the relevant inputs here and we also have the option to select the modeling type. Since Midas is a finite element software, so we can select the type of element we want for our deck and our girder from here. And we also consider the complex geometry. So from here we can give any skew angle that is presented or any curvature for our bridge. When I click on OK, the program generates the model for us. Next is about the construction stages. So from here you can just see the construction sequencing of your bridge and that will be incorporated during the analysis as well. So in stage 1, the substructure is activated, then the girder and the bracings, then the wet concrete load for the deck and then the deck is activated and subsequently the superimposed loads will be acting. With construction sequencing it is important that the time dependent effects are also considered. So here when you see the properties we are having the option to define the creep shrinkage functions. From here you can see the creep and shrinkage coefficients and also the compressive strength function that will include the time dependent effects and the gain of strength for the concrete. Now once we are done with the modeling and analysis, we can next move towards the design. So we are having the PSC separate the dedicated tab for PSC design. From here we can select the relevant code and all the major dominant codes are present. And when we give the relevant inputs, we land up to an Excel report that is automatically generated from the software. So we have this kind of report that is generated automatically from the software. We get all the inputs for the section and the properties and then all the relevant checks for flex drill, shear, then the crack width check. So basically all ultimate and serviceability checks are performed with the relevant code selected. So here you see also the clauses of the code that has been selected for the design and you will see the checks of OK and not good presenting the results. In the similar manner we also have the load rating tab. So here under the Rating tab, you can see the load rating tab is present for R2LRFD and R2LFR19 for steel bridge and PHC bridge. From here, you can select the type of code that you want according to the load rating design. And once we give the relevant inputs here, we are again landing with the Excel report for load rating. So here is the report that we obtain for the load rating from the MIDAS. We get all the rating factor for flexure, shear, with the relevant demand from the selected code and the co load combinations. So yeah. these are the key features that the composite girder module present and it really helps the engineer to produce accurate results and perform designs for different pages. Thank you.